Yo, what's up everyone? It's Fon Shui. And in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to create a practice map that I do believe would can help players of all styles, whether you're RNG, whether you're a sniper or an all-weapons player. This map can help you practice your accuracy and save you a lot of money, especially if you're an all-weapons player. You know how expensive it could get using rockets and stuff? In this map that I'm going to show you, you could practice all you want and not spend a single dime on ammo. Now before we get into the video, I do want to give a quick thanks to my sponsor. Digizani is one of the most trusted websites to buy accounts with high ranks and lots of cash. If you're in need for an account, you can check them out in the description below. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is when you're in an online session, go to online, then go to creator. Now this map was inspired by Gold Revolvers. He was the first person I ever seen do this. And well, he made it in Spanish and it didn't really reach a lot of people. So I wanna help get this video out even more. Now, once you're in Creator, you go to create a capture, then you go to contend. Now you wanna make this map in an open area. So I'm gonna go to the beach. All right, now we're at the beach, pretty open area. First things first, capture details, titles. Title it something like practice map. Description, description doesn't matter, put a GG. Photo, just take a photo of the ocean, doesn't matter. Number of players, put it to the minimum. Time limit, however long you want to spend in the in this map training is how long you want to put the time limit. So usually I personally put it for like 10 to 15 minutes. I'm going to put 15 minutes for the video. Team details. The only thing you need to change here is the target score. Just put one for team one and one for team two. That's all you got to do right here. None of this matters. So lock weapons on plus pickups, forced weapon, that doesn't matter. So we're pretty much done with capture details. Next you want to go to placement. Just put the trigger right here. Lobby camera, again doesn't matter. Team start points. Now you want to put this facing the NPCs. So you see the little arrow right there? You want to make it face the NPCs. We're, we're going to put the NPCs like around this area right here. So we're going to put this right here. Team 2, put it like nearby. I guess I gotta put 2 spawns for Team 1. Alright, put this right here. Put this on the enemy team side. Capture objects, put, the, put it like behind it so you won't accidentally walk into it and stuff. Because if you put this bag inside here, then it's gonna like quit the job. So just put it like somewhere where you won't really like walk into. Now pickups, if you're an RNG player, you're going to want to set some pistols and rifles. Just put it like in front of the spawn so you walk into it. I'd say put like, put like around 10, 5 or 10. There we go. And for rifles, just put some... Special carbines. And for the last one, I'm going to put an advanced rifle because sometimes we do use the advanced rifle. There we go. If you're an RNG player, this is what you're going to want to set up. Some pistols and rifles. If you're like a sniper player, you want to practice your sniper accuracy. Put some heavy snipers up here. And if you're like an all weapons player, you know. You're going to want to set some maybe grenade launchers. You can put it wherever you want. You don't have to put it where I put it. Some RPGs, right? You could even put some homing launchers in here. And also, I would put some sticky bombs so you could practice your switching. Switching. 
All right. So this is how the weapon setups look right now, right? We have the RNG player setup, the sniper setup, and the all weapons setup. All right. Now the most important thing, the NPCs. The NPCs you put don't matter. I'm going to just put the cops right here. Make them face you. The accuracy, I'd put it high so they could be like pretty aggressive. But don't put any weapons because when you put weapons on them, they're going to be standing still. And you don't want that. You want them to move around so it could be harder to hit them. You guys know what I mean? If you put them with, like with a pistol, they're just going to be standing still like just shooting you. You don't want that. You want them to move around. So put them without a weapon. Put them unarmed right here. Patrol range, put it like around 25. That's how far they're going to travel. That red, like this whole red area is how far they'll travel from their spawn location. Combat style aggressive. I don't action none. Respawn. You guys, before you place the NPCs, you're going to want to change the respawn. Put the respawn on unlimited. Alright, now, once you have all these settings... Relationship hostile once you have all these settings you can start placing them so place like four right here Right Place some more right here Place some right here Some right here And I'm going to put some over here. Alright. Now, all you got to do is test the map. So you got all your weapons, all the NPCs right there. You just pick up the weapons. Right, and yeah, you just start practicing. You could like, if you're an RNG player, of course, you're gonna wanna practice your headshots. Practice your switching, switching rifles. This, this map is like really great for practicing your switch, killing your headshots. I use this map a lot personally. Oh, I used to actually. I used to use this map a lot when I was like a noob. And it really helps. It really does help with my accuracy. You guys see how like I get these headshots? Of course, like these boss can't really compete with real people. But it's better than, honestly, it's better than training on cops in free mode. So like, you're a sniper player, right? You just practice shooting them. Practice your switching weapons. All the ammo is free. If you run out of ammo, you can just come back and pick up some more right there. Right. You're an all weapons player, right? I'm not I'm not good at this guys. You guys see how bad my camera moves? I don't think this is how you're supposed to spam. And also another thing, you're like in god mode. And if you run out of rockets, right? I have two rockets left. I can just come back, pick some more up. All the ammo is free. Yeah, guys. After you create this capture, just come and pick up the... The briefcase over here. Turn it in. Test it for team two, too. Because you got to test it. You got to test it for both teams. 
pick up the briefcase again, just turn it in again. And yeah, now all you got to do is save it now and you're done. You made your map. You can train here however long you want, whenever you want. So let me exit out of this. Let's go to GTA. Now I'm going to show you guys how to re-access your creation after you exit everything after you've saved it. So I'm going to head to GTA Online. I mean, I'm going to head to GTA now. You could join the creator through single player, but if you join through single player, depending if you've completed the story mode or not, it's going to affect how your character moves in the creator mode. So I wouldn't really go to creator mode in single player. I would go to an invite only session first. And once you're in an invite only session, you go to go to the creator. You go to load creation, saved. And there's the practice map I just made. And yeah, you just test it. You just test it and you're back at it. You can do this whenever you want to warm up, you know, when you got a, like an opponent to face or you a match to play. You just come here, practice your headshots a little bit, and yeah. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like on the video. And subscribe as well if you want to see some more tutorials, uh, running gun videos, free mode videos. I'm going to do more free mode videos soon. And yeah, that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.